set up and ready to go. We're loading corn. Gotta remove barley first. It's real big kernels. Really big kernels. Morning. I'm Lynn and welcome to a bright and sunny day at Utopia Farms. It's dry, it's sunny, the ground is frozen, and we got rain and snow coming in the next couple of days. So that means today the corn is coming off. Stay with us. First things first is all his chores. Hey Tommy, you hungry? Come on then. Come on. Come on up. Come on. Hi, there you go. See if we can touch them again today. Hi. <laughs> I guess he really has to be in the mood. It's all right, honey. I'm just trying to win you over. Hi. It's all right. Hi. Can I pet you? There, yeah, see? It's okay. It's okay. He's a tough Tom to win over. Okay, these guys are out of hay, so Arnie's bringing some in. Oh, no, he's not bringing him in. He's cleaning up the platform. Scraping it down. We got all the manure removed, but now he's just going to level, level it off and tidy it all up. We're just under a month away from when lambs can potentially start to be popping out. So we want to get as much of the little nitty gritty stuff out of the way as possible so we can focus 100% on the lambing. And over winter these aren't jobs that we're generally doing either. Makes for a much cleaner environment for these guys. They're outside all year round, so even though they're outside, we do want to make sure that they're walking on clean ground. The platform they're on is concrete in here, so it makes it really easy to clean up. So he does that because it bore them. All cleared up now. And we got another pile started. You can see on the pathway to the barns today that there is no muck here. The ground's all frozen. So that makes it much easier for all the heavy equipment, the combines and the wagons to get over the ground. It's been rainy and mucky lately, so we haven't been able to get on the fields. And looks like today we're gonna do it. So as a result, these girls are all gonna have to be in again for the day. Because they will be in the way for the equipment coming down the alleyway out there. Hi Diva, how you doing? But it's just for a day, and then they'll be back out again. After today's corn should fill up our bin for feeding our own sheep for the year, and of course for supplying our multi-grain stove with fuel to heat the house. And the next day's corn, we figure it's a two-day job, will be getting shipped to the grain elevators 
but I doubt that will be today. Today we'll be focusing on our own corn. That's why the auger is set up to go in the bin. So first, Arnie is just shoveling some of the barley into the auger to help it uh, go down. And this is gonna be going into his gravity wagon and brought over to the house to heat our house for the winter. And there we are, it's, uh, it's actually uh, mostly barley. Oh, there's a little bit of corn mixed up with it. Uh, shortly, it should be a little more corn. Uh, we just do everything inside the bin. So we're just using it as sheep feed anyhow. And that will easily heat my house. I think we heat our house for about two ton a year. Just topping the skid steer up with some of its fluids here. We don't need any more repairs on this grill. in the process of also getting ready for Christmas so we got our deer back out Arnie's stringing lights up on the Christmas tree because every year they burn out in the olden days you could just replace a bulb now when they burn out you have to replace the whole string so it's a real waste of money because the LEDs are supposed to last forever but they most definitely do not <laughs> And yeah, like I say, you have to replace the whole string. We got the barn door all decorated. So I've been working inside all day, but you can see the corn is coming off now. How does it look? How does it look? He's quitting now. What? He's gonna quit. Getting damp? He's done, uh, done my farm, he's gonna do some farm now. How does it look? Good. Now, one more load of grain coming, and uh, then he's gonna hold up out. So far it looks like we've got 200 bushels an acre. Gosh, that's loud. So we're gonna go to the field now and pick up the last loads of the day. field, the one that's on our property. Arnie's uh, 
finding some corn that got left behind. <laughs> and you can see where he's chopped it all down and now there's a lot of debris that's got to get plowed back into the soil. That I guess it has, would be disking it back. That head has some kind of mulcher or knife on the bottom of it that yep. chops those stalks down. I like it a lot. So they did a good job on the chopping. Yeah, I'm really happy with that. Sometimes you get a lot of debris left over. I mean, this is a lot of debris, but a lot of times it's um, big, large stalks, which are really hard to deal with. And these are a little more chopped up, which makes it easier for Arnie to work the field when he comes in to do that with his disc. This is the other field he's got to do, but we ran out of time. So he's gone back to milk his cows because the sun is going down. And he's gonna get back and do this. It'll be one more day of combining. And these will be done then. So we're gonna head home and see how much corn actually went into our bin. But this would, will be the last of our crops for the year once this is over with. So we're happy about that. That's the old hay field here that Arnie worked down. It had the old alfalfa, which had mainly gone to weeds. We sprayed it dead and he disked it. So it's all ready for planting next year. So we just brought this wagon back. That's the one we just loaded into the grain tank. Do you think the disc will do good on this? I'd be, I'd be tempted to use my offset. Oh yeah? Yeah, and, uh, and just tear it loose there. Well, we'll see how dry it stays. I was expecting a 100% chance of rain tonight. And this is the last what do you call those things? Gravity boxes. Gravity box. It's the last gravity box left. We're going to bring it back to the house. Offload it. And that'll be it till the next time we're out here doing the corn. Sorry for the bumps, but this is a tractor. This is what it's like to be in a tractor. <laughs> we're just hooking this wagon back on. yellow it is.
about 50, 70 tons. About 30 more tons, 35 more tons than before. See, I'm not, I don't think I'm going to fill it right up. See that square bed? Yeah. See the face at the bottom? Yeah. The seat is about 400. This bed is actually made for barley. And we reinforced it for corn. Corn is heavier. And we put these reinforcements in right here. I'd say uh, we're one month away from having lands and uh, one month or 25 days I'm not sure and uh, we just started feeding them second cut alfalfa alfalfa grasses uh, this is the bale uh, six rolls of plastic on the bale and there wasn't one bad spot on the bale at all perfectly happy with the bale and you can see the sheep just love it it's extremely soft. Uh, right there it is. I don't know. I don't know if uh, if uh, if the camera, if the phones are picking up how nice the hay is. It smells extremely good, and they're loving it. Uh, we were going to test the bales. We uh, we never test their hay. We don't. I mean, have a problem. Uh, I guess maybe we could test it. Maybe we could do a better job, but we don't test the hay at all. The hay is what we have, is what we got. Uh, there's no problem at all with the conditions of the ewes. They're in fantastic condition. I don't know what we could improve by uh, testing the feed, but I've made lots of hay in my lifetime, and I would guess that this hay is probably about 16 to 18% protein. And the other numbers, yeah, it is what it is. Oh, there's mean, the hay, extremely nice hay, nice and soft. Uh, uh, definitely right on the money as far as I'm concerned. I've been walking in here all summer long, you know, doing your stuff in the backyard with Buddy here. And I'm starting up the corn stove this morning. And I say to myself, what is that in the tree there? You see it there? All summer long we were walking here. And there's a bee's nest. They've been there all summer. We never noticed it. They must be gone now, I think. So that's it for the corn today. We'll see what happens tomorrow. I think if it doesn't snow in the morning, he's going to try get off as much corn as he possibly can. And if we're real lucky, who knows, we might get it all off tomorrow. So you'll have to stay tuned. Until then, bye for now.